the army chief speaking out in no uncertain terms saying india will retaliate at a time and place of its choosing i want to go across live to rawal pindi in pakistan joining us from there is one of pakistan's most notorious generals former dg of the isi the man who's often seen in the company of hafiz saeed it's alleged that he plans along with the lashkar e taiba several of the terror attacks on indian soil former dg of the isi general hamid gul thank you very much general gul for joining us on center stage tonight the indian army chief has spoken out in a stern voice he says that india will retaliate this is about the strongest message that has come out uh, from the indian establishment so far but the question critically is about the involvement of the pakistani army the chief in his press conference today general gul said that this was a pre planned pre meditated attack by the pakistani army the indian army believes that ssg commandos were responsible uh, because of the brutal barbaric and precise nature of the beheading shouldn't the pakistani army come clean general it's utter nonsense i i don't think that because there are tech, certain technicalities anybody can behead anyone every day in the villages people kill and they behead them but that doesn't mean that pakistan army is responsible for it our ssg is not trained to kill people like that or to indulge in acts of brutality they fight openly on the battlefield when there is war on at the moment the ssg operations are not going on anywhere no. let me for a moment general gol accept your argument that the pakistani army is not responsible and i highly doubt that theory of yours uh because of the nature in which this beheading was carried out but let's imagine that they were irregulars they were terrorists they were so called jihadis as you call them is it then not incumbent on the pakistani army and establishment to investigate this case fully to find out who was responsible for this beheading because at the end of the day two indian soldiers are dead someone did it in india has the right to know who oh yes pakistan has already offered i think that the first of all the act took place on the in, uh, indian occupied uh, kashmir soil and the second and pakistan said let's have a joint uh, inquiry with the united nation coming in because our side of the inquiry you will not accept it so let the united nation come into it no but the united nations is a bogey because you realize fully well general gol that uh, in new delhi islamabad ties we don't go running to the united nations both countries have decided that they will bilaterally deal with these issues and not just run uh, to the un each time this is about a trust deficit which has been enhanced by this barbaric attack by your army and therefore uh, now the stock of peace the dialogue that's been going on seems to have been rendered rather meaningless general good i don't care a lie is a lie and whether it creates mistrust or not it's not important because if you are lying and if you are unnecessarily trying to put blame on pakistan and dub it as a terrorist sponsoring state then it is utterly wrong and just because america is pulling out now from afghanistan the tide is turning the historic tide is now turning against india so india is nervous and they want to create a situation for pakistan where before the americans leave pakistan is actually labeled as a terrorist state this is wrong this is unethical this is immoral no you are calling what india is doing unethical and immoral general gul but the fact is you know it's the pakistani army action which is unethical and immoral beheading is you know against any rule of engagement anywhere in the world between two civilized armies that is what is immoral and unethical general gul we need to establish who's responsible for this no the, but the point is that you have to prove it first that it has been done so by pakistan army this is diabolical nonsense i mean you are blaming pakistan army for no rhyme or reason and we are asking you okay let the united nation come the united nation observer present on uh, uh, on our soil they, they can be used for this and this is not a permanent line this is not a permanent border so uh, you have to accept the united nation to come into it no but look at the grave provocation sir all along the line of control the number of ceasefire violations has been increasing 
every year it's almost been doubling since 2009 so much so that now there are violations taking place every day it almost seems as if uh, the ceasefire is now meaningless there's no point in having a ceasefire that is followed more uh, because it's violated than it's actually implemented on the ground look here let's be very logical about it pakistan is already in a state where it is embattled it is beleaguered from all direction there are kpk uh, incidents which are happening every day our soldiers are getting killed in india america's war which is also india's war in a way because india is in coalition with with america and they are uh, trying to do everything wrong against pakistan then pakistan is facing this sectarian violence it facing all sorts of things in karachi so why should pakistan army take on this particular adventure at this time and create no, problems with india you explain it is that. illogical no it might be illogical but logic hasn't determined the actions of the pakistani army in the past and i see no reason why logic should be the governing factor even now what is happening is illogical and therein lies the problem general gol because the thinking in the indian establishment and i spoke to some very senior indian army generals general gol is that because elections are around the corner in pakistan because uh the pakistani army is concerned that it will no longer play a role at the center stage of pakistani politics it will get slightly marginalized and therefore they want to escalate tensions with india so that the pakistani army returns once more uh, to the central scheme of things in pakistan so that general kayani and other co commanders can prove why they are so important for the pakistani nation and this is illusionary this is there is no truth in it i think for pakistan army they have uh, stood to a side for 5 years let the democracy function it was a bad democracy bad handling misgovernance and yet pakistan army did nothing about it so why do you think that pakistan army will do such a thing now because it's not just about the pakistan army it's about the entire state general go look also at hafiz saeed in the role that he's playing just a few days before this barbaric attack took place indian establishment says that hafiz saeed was seen very close to the line of control near the area where this attack took place that he encouraged the border action teams which is essentially lashkar e taiba terrorists who also got some presence of pakistani army regulars he instigated them uh, to attack the indian forces and this person uh, is roaming free in pakistan Oh, you were saying that it was the Pakistan Army. Now you are saying it's the Lashkar-e Taiba. It's a joint operation. And now how is it come from nowhere? No, no, no. This is this is not correct. I think you better get a hold of your own intelligence apparatus who are operating in Pakistan. They are all over in Pakistan, and if they are fibbing and creating wrong stories, you better take them to a task. General Gol, the mood in India now is one which says. that enough is enough we can't keep placating pakistan have a policy of unending appeasement you know it's time to draw the line and tell pakistan where the army needs to get off uh, and very clearly that's the message that the army chief was communicating in his press conference as well uh, when he says that india will retaliate at a time and place of its choosing the message to rawal pindi general goal is direct and straight Uh, so many times in the past indians have acted aggressively against pakistan so let them come another time it makes no difference we will put up a very good resistance uh, you don't worry about it and uh, don't threaten us like that that's not uh, is going not going to be taken lightly by pakistani nation no you're threatening us now on the show your forces have been acting on the ground but i want to ask you one question general as a man who's donned uh, the army fatigues earlier What about Lance Naik, Hemrat Singh's wife and mother in India? They were fasting, seeking the return of Hemraj's severed head. Is it not incumbent on Pakistan to investigate fully, take cogent action, and to ensure that the soldier is buried with full military respect and honor? His head should be returned to his family. This is barbarism of the worst nature, General Gold. Yeah, of course i i sympathize with the families they no no doubt about they are human beings no matter what which side of the border they are on but uh, the fact is that we sympathize with them this is this is bad whoever did it it is bad but you have got to prove that it was pakistan army responsible for it 
Now, how do we prove it sitting over here in Delhi? It's for the Pakistani army general to investigate this case fully. If the Pakistani army doesn't investigate, uh, then it can't be proven. The same thing that happened with 2611 will happen once more, where you'll keep making these claims saying that the onus of proof lies in India, whereas the aggression happened within the Pakistani army. You need to tell us who did it. Uh, what, according to you, General Goal, is the way forward? You're dismissing as fabricated lies, all sorts of hyperbole you've used on the show, uh, saying that India's claims are incorrect. There is heightened tension along the LOC. Uh, talks have got us nowhere. India is talking of retaliation. General Goal, what, according to you, is the way forward? Talk about it, talk about it, get the United Nations, get an independent body to come and investigate the matter. And if it proves to be correct that, as you are saying, Pakistani version is different, that you started firing initially and you don't accept that, we don't accept your version. So let there be a body, and a neutral body, which will sort this matter out. No, but we've been talking so long, General Gold, you know, you're, this is the easiest Pakistani tactic to say, talk. We've been talking. Look at the fact that we've been talking post-2611. It's got us nowhere. The perpetrators of 2611 still roam free. Uh, Hafiz Saeed is, is a state-honored guest in Pakistan. He gets the red carpet wherever he goes. Other terrorists are languishing in jail, but so far they haven't hanged. No action has been taken against them. We've been talking for very long. Those talks have got us nowhere, sir. Yeah, it's true, but who is responsible for this stocks failure from 19, 5th of February 1949 when ceasefire was called in Kashmir and it was accepted by India that we shall resolve this issue. So we've been talking. It has been 64 years now we've been talking. So who's, respond, who's the original sinner in this case? No, well, the original sinner is Pakistan. Look at 2611. A terror attack was plotted from Pakistani soil. We've been talking and pressuring Pakistan for so long, but despite that, uh, the perpetrators haven't yet been convicted. Hafiz Saeed roams free. So when you talk of the virtues of talking, General Gul, I really wonder whether you really wish for action to be taken or you want to put it into an endless loop where nothing comes out of it. We have acted against them. The court cleared them. There was no evidence. And still there, there is the thing that we at that time offered a joint inquiry with India. Come and examine the, bring the evidence and we will punish the people. But you have the court system, we have a court system and we cannot act beyond the, the, the pale of law. We have to stay within the limits of law. General Goal, it's been very distressing to hear you say once more that the onus of proof is on India. These were acts perpetrated and planned on Pakistani soil. If the truth is ever to be known, it's the Pakistani army that must probe this thoroughly. That's the only way we will know what happened. Otherwise, what happened in 2611, the case is still dragging. Same thing will happen uh, in this case as well. General Hamid Gul for joining us from Rawalpindi tonight. Thank you very much.